I found myself in a place where I was highly stressed. I was anxious. I was overwhelmed. I was biting the head off my husband. I thought he was going to leave me and go find a nice barista. I was a mess. I'm not going to cry. No crying. <laughs> I was in a mess and it felt horrible. And maybe you know what I'm talking about. And I never want to go back there again. And I don't want people to have to live there because I know firsthand how horrible it is. Sorry. I created a step-by-step -step process for me to go through to do this rewiring based on the science of neuroplasticity. Let me tell you about neuroplasticity just for a minute. And I'm going to way oversimplify this because it is really complicated. But the gist of it is this. Every stressful thought that you think wires and strengthens those pathways in your brain so that when you go through a stressful time or a stressful childhood, any stressful period of life, your brain becomes more and more and more wired for stress. Those stress neural pathways become stronger and stronger and stronger so that when something even remotely stressful comes up for you, you sail down those tracks. I call it to stressville. You sail down those tracks to stressville before you even know what's happening. You're worrying, you're spinning out, but it's because these pathways are so strong. And then I don't know if you're at this point, I got to a point where I was, my thoughts were more negative. So I got to a low spot. I was not, I told you I wasn't myself, but I was not feeling well at all. I put the process into action for myself and it took me, it took me at least seven or eight weeks to start to really feel better. By 12 weeks, I was feeling a lot better. And by 16 weeks, I was feeling a whole lot better. I was really excited because I put a lot of time into this research and it actually worked. So I want to tell you today about a couple of things that you can start doing. Here's a scoop. If every single stressful thought wires your brain to be more stressed. So I thought, how do we counteract that? We have to strengthen our calm and happy neural pathways, don't we? Yeah. So how do we do that? For me personally, I needed a systematic approach that I would do it every single day for a concentrated amount of time. Some examples are appreciation. And the reason that I don't say gratitude is because I don't know if you've heard about gratitude lists, but so many people say, oh, do a gratitude list what you're grateful for. Just make five things. And yes, that can help. But it becomes a rote exercise after a while. It just doesn't activate those neural pathways as much as appreciation does. And what I find is finding things around you in the moment to appreciate. And it can be really simple. It can be the chair you're sitting in. It can be your comfy pants. It can be going to the bathroom inside. It can be running water. It can be a roof over your head. It can be that your car runs, really anything. And then let yourself appreciate that. Let yourself sit on those emotions for a minute. Because when you're doing that, you're insulating, strengthening those pathways in your mind. And then over time, those pathways come to not, they'll never completely dominate the stress pathways and what I'm talking about is 100% because we do need those for survival. They're not always bad. It's just when, you know, a woolly mammoth becomes a late car payment. We're not trying to survive every day anymore. And I hope that the appreciation aspect of it helped you. And I want you to start doing that as many times during the day as possible. And even if you have to set a timer and set some time aside for yourself during the day to do it, because every time you do, you're going to strengthen those calm and happy neural pathways in your mind. And then you'll inch toward that mind and person that you want to be and get out of that stress mess because it's not fun and it, it's not a tolerable place to be. So that's why I'm here to help you. Another tip that I do have for you before I sign off today is 
I made a whole video about a breathing technique that actually activates your parasympathetic or calm nervous system. This can also help because you're stepping out of that stress response. So if you want to check that out, that's also on this channel. And I appreciate you watching today. I really hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye.